from Chicago and the Renee Crown Public Media Center at WTTW, this is the 32nd Annual Golden Apple Awards. Please welcome your host, Brandis Friedman. Welcome to the 32nd Annual Golden Apple Awards. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the outstanding work of these 10 middle school teachers and principal. Now, in addition to holding the prestigious title of Golden Apple Fellow, this year's distinguished recipients will also be given a $5,000 honorarium and a spring quarter sabbatical at Northwestern University. Artistic expression comes easily for some. For others, luckily, there's Christina Daskalopoulos. Encouraged by her parents at an early age to explore creative outlets, Christina now sees it as her mission to lead her students to the well of creativity. Here's what we're going to do. Today, guys, we're going to review what we did to plaster our figures, okay? Art is a universal language and it speaks all languages and it speaks loudly. Remember, we're trying to capture human energy together, my students and I, we make my classroom a place for discovery. We're gonna create kind of like a little cast or a band-aid. My parents were really ahead of their time when it came to encouraging fine arts development. I discovered how much I loved art. I discovered how it made me feel, how it was just such a powerful, expressive tool. We're gonna take this plaster, put it the way you want it to be. I took that foundation and realized I wanted to share it. Got it? This one here took a lot of time. It came to me and, well, turned out like this. I had hope. We made patterns on these little rubber blocks. My design is pretty much like circuits, and Miss D kind of taught us how to think outside the box. She always has the idea in her head that these kids have the potential to be something great, so let me make them as best as they can be. Quite honestly, I think it's magic. No other teacher can do that. Problem solving, critical thinking, creative thinking. There isn't anything that Tina doesn't put her whole heart and soul into. Mrs. D creates a bridge. She makes all students feel like they can succeed. So we're gonna look for contrast now, okay? This is her chance and this is their chance to flourish. This is my 29th year at Nelson School. I'm touching lives, I'm opening minds, I'm fostering creativity, which is something I so passionately believe in. Love the texture. I've been happy ever since. I've never worked a day in my life. The art room is constantly changing. It can be a place of quiet concentration or the loudest, messiest spot in the school. It's colorful, cluttered, and seldom tidy. The art room respects every child's unique perspective and celebrates their differences. The art room is a creative democracy where we speak a universal language. It's been my passion and great joy to spend the majority of my life in the art room guiding students in the creative process, and watching their young minds and hands create great work. I want to thank the Golden Apple Foundation for this supreme and humbling honor. And I salute our teachers everywhere for their energy and commitment to the vital importance of teaching art. Thank you. Um, well, it's time to see some of Mrs. D's work in action. We have two artists in training with us, Nora and Ellie. I'll get out of the way while you ladies work your magic. Today, we're going to be making a monoprint. A monoprint is a single print. Once Nora's done painting on the surface, I'm going to take this sheet of paper and press it on lightly. When she's done pressing it on, she's going to hand it to me and I'm going to add glitter to make it a mixed media. 
A mixed media is when you add two art materials to your project to make it much better. And here Thank is a golden, golden apple. apple. Congratulations, Congratulations Mrs. D, and your award. Oh my goodness, ladies, that is gorgeous. You're going to have to sign that for me before we leave so we can frame it, okay? <laughs> awesome.